My name is uh, Bruno Johnson from Cascoda. Cascoda is a communications company and we make ultra low power radios for internet protocol connectivity. So how does this relate to KNX? Well, um, first of all, a little bit about our organization. So Cascoda has secure IoT hardware for radio communications. That's what we do. And we make secure IoT software that builds on top of that. So we have some of the leading experts in the industry that come from places like Cisco's IoT research labs. And we use that to have the ability to develop full stacks of software for internet protocol connectivity. So we are a leading open source stack developer. We've been heavily involved in the development of the Thread wireless mesh standard. We led a work group within that standard for five years before we got involved in KNX. So <clears throat> I've just gone through that. Um, so Thread provides mesh networking capability. And this is a seamless self-managing mesh. And this is very important for buildings because you don't need operators to get involved with the mesh. It will self-manage. Devices will upgrade themselves to routers if another device gets added to the end of the network dynamically. This is very, very useful. As we start to build out the infrastructure with buildings, it will seamlessly scale. And it will scale to massive IoT. Each radio frequency can support hundreds of devices. We have 16 radio channels to choose from. That's why this is incredibly powerful for building automation. So let's take a look at the KNX Point API stack. It is an open source project sponsored by the KNX organization. And the KNX organization paid Cascoda to develop this for them. It is available on GitHub and GitLab. So go to the KNX booth in Hall 2. You can scan a QR code based on an Apache 2 license. So the KNX point API stack implements KNX using the same data models and the same semantics as is used with the other um, KNX transports, KNX Classic, for example. So the KNX IoT Point API kit that we've developed is based on the same functional blocks and data Points. So, for instance, we are showing a demo on our booth in Hall 2 with uh, light switching. So, we've got a basic light switch switching sensor and light switching actuator. And despite all the Wi Fi interference that's around in a hall like this, it works seamlessly. So, we can also emulate devices using KNX. IoT Point API. And this is very important. This is the digital twin concept. You can actually build out your system with devices emulated within a computer. You can develop your software in that way, and then you can start to swap out the emulated devices with real devices. And this allows us a very powerful tool to be able to develop higher layer applications and software without going to the full install. So we have developed a KNX IoT development board. Uh, I've got one here. It fits into a standard industry housing. It has uh, our radio thread-based radio module on the back, and it has two uh, plug-in 
sensors. Now, there are around 2,500 different sensors and actuators available. So you can take your combinations of sensor, actuator with this, integrate it with KNX IoT point API. You've got a set of configurable buttons, various power inputs from 2.5 to 30 volts, and various connectivity options, USB and UART, for example. The Click Development Boards are manufactured by a company in the Czech Republic called Microelectronica. These are widely available worldwide, either directly through them or through the big electronic distributors. And importantly, they provide a set of driver code which is public, and also their schematics are public. So you can choose the microelectronica product based on the target sensor that you require, develop your application using this kit, and then when you want to miniaturize, go to full production, we can help you with that. So just an overall recap on this. Our radios have been developed by us. They're in full production. They have incredibly long range. Actually, our biggest customers that use this radio use it in the smart city environment. So it's been used in Taipei, the southernmost district of Taipei for smart lighting. The longest link is about a quarter of a kilometer, 270 meters. It's ultra low power. So we support sleep modes. And this board will support lithium battery or a lithium polymer rechargeable battery. And we have a ba battery charger built in. It's low cost, IP based to support KNX IoT. We have all the security built in. Our module includes the ARM trust zone security system and all the cryptography engine and the microcontroller has been certified uh, as a secure device using the industry standard. This is massively scalable technology. Unlike other Wi-Fi, other technologies such as Wi-Fi, which require a star or Wi-Fi mesh, a star of star, this is a seamless mesh. The data gets routed to the most efficient path to the nearest router that will take the information to the wider internet. It's very straightforward to manage. You manage this in the same way as you manage your existing KNX installation. So as mentioned before, this works with ETS just as you are uh, already used to. Highly reliable and already fully certified for thread uh, and deployment in uh, North America and Europe. So uh, just a quick overview of our team. Um, we've got a highly experienced team. Our first startup was sold to Semtech. Uh, within Semtech, we were part of the business unit that created the LoRa radio frequency standard. Our CTO, COO, Walter van der Beek, joined us from Cisco. Incredibly experienced. And our software manager made the first Zigbee golden unit stack um, that was part of the certification suite. And our chairman, Sean Redmond, has had several successful exits and taken uh, companies through to IPO. So that's us. Please feel free to contact me if you'd like any further information. As mentioned, we've got a, a booth in Hall 2 on the KNX stand. Very happy to talk to you uh, and get to know a little bit about your needs and your requirements and how we can help you with this. Thank you very much.